Alright, so in this problem we are given a formula and we want to see which of the following statements is true for our formula. Now in this formula, this is a linear function and in order to analyze our linear function better, we are going to graph it. Now the first step in graphing is to find two points in order to plot. And the two points we're going to find are the intercepts. So we're going to set t equal to 0 and r equal to 0, two convenient points. All right, so when t equals 0, we have 0 equals 1 minus r. And now we can add r to both sides in order to isolate it. And we have r equals 1. Now our second point is when r equals 0. So if we plug in 0, we have t equals 1 minus 0. So t equals 1. Alright, so now we have two points and we can quickly sketch out a graph over here and we're going to label our axes and remember labeling the axes can be done in any order so we can label our x-axis t and our y-axis r and now we can plot our two points. Alright, so our first point is going to be when t equals 0 and r equals 1 so that is going, so that is going to be right over here. And our second point is going to be when r equals 0 and t equals 1. That's going to be right over here. Now we're going to connect our two points in order to see our linear function. Alright, so now that we have our linear function, let's read through our answers. Answer A states that if t is positive, then r is negative. Well, let's go to where t is positive. t is positive on the right-hand side of the graph. So that's going to be on this side of the axis. And it says that if t is positive, then r is negative. Well, r is mostly negative, mostly on the negative side, but we do have a small area over here where the r is positive. And therefore, this statement is partially correct and will be eliminated. All right, now let's read through answer b. t and r may both be positive. Now, we just said that t is going to be positive on the right-hand side, and r is going to be positive from this upwards from this side of the axis. So if we move upwards, that is going to, where they both cross, is going to be right over here. So this is the only area where R and T may be positive, and therefore B is the correct answer. And now we'll quickly see why C and D are incorrect. Alright, so C states that if R is positive, so that is these arrows going up, then T is negative. Well, t seems to be also in the negative and also in the positive area. And therefore, c is also partially correct and will be eliminated. Now, d states that t and r may both be negative. Now, we there is no area where both the r and the t are negative because where the t is negative is on this side of the graph. It's going to be this side. And where r is negative is in this area. So the only area that they can both be negative is in this fourth quadrant. And because the function does not reach this, this quadrant, that means that D is incorrect and will be eliminated. And that leaves us with B being our final answer.